Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF Extended Model for today's second video. This is your Tuesday Extended European Outlook, and I shall get on with it for you in a moment. Just to say that first video I say was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And don't forget to 14 day coming for later on today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thanks so to ECMWF.int. For supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, so we're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly for Europe. This is taking us from the 21st to 28th of August. So uh, this week, that we're currently in, has a ridge of high pressure in the North Atlantic and to the west of the UK and Ireland with low pressure covering many parts of Europe, actually, quite a lot of low pressure all over the place. Precipitation, I should say 500 millibar, height anomalies. <laughs> what are you doing, Gav? Um, looks like this. So uh, we've got above average heights here. In the North Atlantic, extending up towards Greenland and Iceland. The ridge also building into western and also some central parts of Europe with a trough of low pressure away to the uh, northeast as well. Right, so let's go through the temperature anomaly. So looking really quite warm across most parts of Europe, hot across the uh, south and central regions. We've got this red um, area just here. So at the core, like in the south and southeast of France, we're actually going to six to ten, six to ten degrees above average. More widely, we're three to six degrees above average from Spain, Portugal, all the way over to the uh, Black Sea. So it really is a very hot scene, actually across many parts of Europe, under that high pressure, which, of course, is a heat dome. Most of the Mediterranean uh, looking uh, really hot as well. Uh, of course, just Sardinia, Italy, Spain, Portugal, very hot for you there. Not quite as hot for you, the Balearic Islands, but even so above average, with temperatures, again, around 1 to 3 degrees above door, I suppose, to see probably tempering the heat just a little bit for you there. Uh, further north, which is Scandinavia, is that warmer than average this week, although southern portions are a little bit cooler, so around Denmark and just into the far south, uh, but Sweden possibly a little bit on the cooler side there. Also a little bit cooler as we go up towards um, Finland as well. Uh, around here, we see that it's a little bit cooler through there. Uh, the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, uh, generally above average through those areas. And then coming back towards the UK and Ireland, a little bit above average this week. Uh, here, just around uh, one degree or so above normal. And uh, we see northern parts of France, the low countries, northern Germany, again, a, a bit above average, one to three degrees above normal. But the hottest was just that little bit further southwards and uh, eastwards. And this is precipitation. So uh, precipitation-wise, looks like that. Does vary from area to area, area the far north of Scandinavia into northwest Russia, driving average turns wetter through the central portions of Scandinavia, and then perhaps goes a bit drier again through southern portions of Scandinavia. Ireland and the UK drive an average, uh, but your Portugal southern parts of Spain drive an average, although northeast of Spain is a bit wetter. Eastern parts of France, despite the heat, actually we see above average rainfall there, so obviously heat is probably going to be triggering some thunderstorms. And then uh, Germany and into Poland, we can see that uh, we have some above average precipitation through there. The eastern and southeastern portions of the Europe looking uh, largely dry now, especially through Italy, over the age to the Balkans, then from the Balkans to the Black Sea, largely dry and average through there. Some of the Greek islands could get a few thunderstorms. So what some of the Greek islands are dry and average, some of the Greek islands are a little bit wetter than average. So quite a bit of variation from area to area this week. Week two will be the 28th of August, 4th of September. This week looking much more unsettled with low pressure um, centred in the North Atlantic. But it looks like lower pressure, let's put it that way, is covering many parts of uh, Europe, actually. Let's have a look at 500 millibar height anomaly and see what that's doing. A large area of below average height setting up through much of the North Atlantic and into northern and western Europe as well. So that will bring the most unsettled weather into both the north and the west of Europe, probably. Temperature anomalies look like this going cooler than average in uh, many parts of Western Europe. So a big change, actually, there as we come to the very end of August into the start of September. We see temperature, temperature anomaly 
falling below average through western parts of Poland, into Germany, into some parts of the Low Countries, into France, and down to Spain and Portugal as well. The coolest anomalies to average are actually through um, central and northern parts of Spain, believe it or not, where it's one to three degrees below average. Otherwise, it kind of like it up to a degree below north through France, through the Low Country, Germany, etc. Down into the uh, Mediterranean. So, yes, it does look much cooler, actually, uh, next week, across much of the central western part of the bed. Still pretty hot over on the eastern side of the bed. And that warmth extends north was up to the Black Sea and uh, eventually up to Ukraine and southwestern parts of Russia. Ireland and the UK are uh, average to a little bit above average. And up to Scandinavia, we see most areas there, particularly Norway and Sweden, uh, above average, although the southern areas, Denmark to southern Sweden, Norway, a little bit on the cooler side, uh, maybe the Baltic Sea states like Estonia, Lithuania, uh, down to Belarus, um, near normal temperature anomalies through there, but probably a little bit on the warm side still. Uh, precipitation looks like that, so uh, much more unsettled across large uh, sections of Europe, actually. We see it's still a bit dry on average up to the north of Scandinavia. A little bit dry on average coast to Iceland, which is a bit strange given the, <laughs> given the low pressure in the North Atlantic. But anyway, we'll go with it. Um, and then wetter than average, really, from like Spain, Portugal, and France in the west, all the way over to the west of Russia. It's particularly unsettled through southern parts of France into the Alpine region, Switzerland, for example, probably uh, very wet through there. And also it's sent towards the Balkans. Uh, as well, 30 to 60 percent of average rainfall free there. You would probably expect like southern Scandinavia, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, as well as the UK and Ireland to be a little bit wetter than that, given the uh, setup. It looks like the wettest of the weather is actually a bit further southward, so uh, that's a little bit strange. Right, week three will be before to be 11th of September, so some higher pressure beginning to start setting up towards Scandinavia, anything to the Scandinavian high low pressure in the Atlantic and into southern and southwestern parts of Europe. How the 500 millibar heights looking? So an area of above average heights beginning to get going here across northern parts of Europe, possibly starting to see the Atlantic uh, weakening then. Uh, therefore, temperature always warm up, so we go above average in uh, many parts of uh, Europe, actually. Uh, near and normal over on the far eastern side of Europe, but certainly much of the north, west, central and southern parts of Europe looking slow. Uh, they're uh, generally having a warm up there. And uh, precipitation anomalies, very weak signal by this point, but you see where Scandinavian high is, which is where it's drier uh, around there. Still quite wet in the North Atlantic. Otherwise, as I say, it's a very weak signal precipitation by week three. Week four being the 11th to the 18th of September. Very weak signal for uh, mean sea level pressure. Low pressure towards Greenland and Iceland and down towards Spain and Portugal. Otherwise, um, a very, very weak signal. Above average heights, though, continuing through the central and northern regions. This is a bit of a change on what he said was predicting um Oh, when we looked at this model last time on Saturday morning, actually, much more of an anti cyclonic influence on this ECM run. Um, and above average temperatures, again, particularly for normal western parts of Europe, near and all over on the eastern side of uh, Europe, maybe, but for the central, and particularly western, uh, northwestern parts of Europe, looks more than average. And the precipitation looks like that. Again, it's a really weak signal, but possibly a bit wetter down towards the southern part of Europe. Could be a bit on the drier side through here, but uh, there's not really, really enough, not really enough to uh, work with there. Right, that's your third today. Look ahead. Let's go to weeks five and six data before we go. So week five will be the 18th, 25th of September. And uh, again, very weak signals for, uh, for mean cell pressure. Higher pressure just to the far east and northeast, 500 millibar heights again with above average heights covering many parts of Europe. It does look much more anticyclonic for September, I have to say, compared to what we saw back on Saturday when we looked at this model before. Above average temperatures there, so we've got a warm September to come. And uh, very weak still, but maybe a little bit wetter for the rest of parts of Europe. And then week 6 through 25th of September, 2nd of October. Higher pressure may be strengthening across northern and also some western parts of Europe. Uh, 500 millibar heights with a large area of high pressure in the north and the west of Europe, definitely. Temperatures are above average, especially through western portions of Europe and precipitation 
three week seasonal but drier through the far north and west so um around here driving average looks wetter perhaps through this uh, southern southeastern part of europe uh right okay so big, bit of a change uh with the ecm on this update saturday's update was just the focus on the uk and ireland there's quite a lot of low pressure and wet weather through uh western and north western parts of europe through September. This is much more towards higher pressure after an unsettled start anyway to September. Much more in way of higher pressure from uh, week three onwards. And uh, and so yes, it's a significant change. Uh, right, so we'll see how the model is looking again when we're looking at on Friday. We're looking at this model again on Friday with the UK and Ireland focus. So we'll find out then how it's looking. And your next extended 30 day slash for two day look at for Europe is going to be next Tuesday of course. If you've Enjoy the video and the forecast. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And we're going to be back shortly. We take 14 days for this one. That's all for now. And uh, thanks so much.